Hello everyone, welcome to Discover English Academy video. I'm Yalda and today I want to teach you some useful expressions and vocabulary that you can use at the bakery. Where is a bakery? Bakery is a place that you can buy baked goods, baked stuff like muffins, cakes, bread. Actually this is my favorite place, I don't know about you. Um, usually bread they just like come like a loaf right one big loaf of bread and whenever you want to buy it you usually want to ask the salesperson there to just slice it for you okay so slice means to thinly cut you can ask them can you please slice this for me or could I get this a slice please so the slice so you can uh, actually just like ask them to slice it like regular slice for you some people they like it thinner and some people they like it thicker right bigger slices and you can just ask the salesperson to do it for you they usually ask you okay how thin you want it and you can say regular slice or thicker or thinner here I want to show you some um, different kinds of bread that we use them regularly in our daily life um, like white bread, wheat bread, whole grain bread, which is really healthy, and rye bread. This is the same, right? So it's very healthy to use. Um, if the grain is darker, if the bread is darker and is more healthier. Uh, when you say rye is a dark kind of grain. Now here, look at the dialogue. Um, Whenever you just like get into the bakery, the salesperson the clerk might ask you, hi, can I help you? And the customer can say, hi, I'm trying to make up my mind about which kind of dessert to get. Um, to make up my mind, it means I'm thinking and I'm trying to decide, okay? I'm trying to make up my mind about which kind of dessert to get. Everything in the case, looks delicious in the case um case actually is the place that they put all the muffins and breads and things and um so you can just like see them right behind that glass thingy which is a case okay so everything in the case looks delicious oh thanks as you can see we have a lot of different types of cookies so we're talking about baked stuff big goods uh, cookies brownies and muffins over here and now you have to decide which one would you like to buy oh that cake looks wonderful how many people does it serve it means is it enough for how many people for example you invited some people to your house for your party or whatever and you want to know if this cake is enough for that number of people that you invited so you say, how many people does it serve? And the clerk would say, this one, it has three layers. Look, three parts that come together. So three layers. And it serves between eight and 10 people, depending on how you slice it. If you slice it uh, like bigger slices, that might be enough for eight people. If you just like slice it thinner, that would be enough for more people right for 10 people if you like chocolate you might like this one over here with the frosting and sprinkles frosting it can be just like white and um, bakers usually use it for decorating cakes right and with the sprinkles there are some colorful things that they put it um, on the cake for decorating it oh that looks good too hmm it's so hard to decide now it's time to make up your mind okay it's hard to decide why don't i take the layer cake and i'd like a dozen of this cookies too dozen means 12 12 of something right can i get you anything else i think i'd like a bag of those biscotti too biscotti is a kind of sweet sure no problem 
Would you like the cookies and biscotti in the same box as the cake? No, please put them in separate boxes, if you don't mind. If you don't mind, it means if it is okay and you don't care. Okay, so if it is okay for you. Not at all. Here you are. Say thanks. Now I want to teach you some interesting idioms with the words and expressions that you learned today. Actually, they have another meaning and you can use them in different situations. Uh, for example, look at the first one. To have a bun in the oven, it means um, it refers to a prayer. For example, you say, did you know that Jane has a bun in the oven? It means, did you know that Jane is pregnant? The other one, a one sharp cookie, it refers to a very smart person that cannot be fooled easily. So you can say, for example, my father is one sharp cookie. I cannot deceive him easily. The other idiom here is one tough cookie. One tough cookie, it refers to a person who is really self-confident and really ambitious and then just like that person doing whatever is necessary to achieve the goal, right? So you can say, Sarah is, a, is one tough cookie. She did everything to just get to university. The other one is icing on the cake. Icing on the cake, um, it means, for example, an extra benefit okay that you have that make a very good situation even better uh, for example if you let me stay here that's really good but if you help me too that would be an icing on the cake it means it cannot be better than this it's the best situation thank you for watching my video um, so you can subscribe to our YouTube channel and uh, watch the other videos that we have there and you can also be notified uh, whenever I upload a new video there. Uh, you can also join our Telegram channel. I'm gonna type the link actually in the comment area of this video so you can join the Telegram channel and like us on Facebook. Thank you and see you soon.